Hey there everybody, my name is Panda and welcome to my blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to sculpt and weight paint any outfit to fit your base model. Um, you are going to need the CATS plugin as well as the robust weight um, paint tool. I will have both of those linked and I personally use Blender 2.93. I cannot assist you if you are using a newer version of Blender. It's relatively the same, so do keep that in mind. I just don't know the certain tools and stuff, so do proceed with caution. Today we are going to be showing you how to sculpt any outfit to your base model. So the first thing I like to do is after I have my base model imported is I like to go and click this arrow right here and I like to set the texture. So as you can see mine is purple and that's because or the no texture and that's because it's not detecting the file. So what you're going to want to do is you hit this little clock, you go to shader editor and sometimes it's going to be here all set up for you. And let's say that it's not, so let's go ahead and we're just going to delete it, right? And that's going to make it gray. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go and I'm going to find my, um, my file location that has the, um, the skin textures. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to drop that in there and then connect it. And then you go there you have your texture and that's pretty much all you have to do um so now we're gonna import the clothing that we are going to go ahead and fit to our base in this case I'm using this heartbreaker outfit by Yukina and because this is the app uh, the base model I use for my femboy avatar I am going to show you what I personally do to make it um, flat chested so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go ahead and we're just going to want to delete everything from our armature that does not have an extra bone. Because if you aren't using these bones, like if it's not your base model, there is really no point in having them because they're going to be unweighted. So let's just go ahead and open everything. Actually, you should be doing this in edit mode because that's the only way to delete bones. So we're just going to go ahead and open all of this and just take your time and just delete selected bones by right clicking in the, your play space and then hitting delete selected bones and keep on doing that until you've deleted every single bone. Oh, I'm deleting the wrong ones. Don't do what I did. Um, so yeah, that would be bad. Let's go ahead and just delete these. Oh, let me ignore that. Now we can go into edit mode. And now we can delete all of this armature. and just continue to delete the main reason why we want to um, delete the armature is because when you are posing it it's just going to because it, it these are extra bones that the um, body doesn't have and so we really don't need it because we are going to be doing robust weight painting. So it doesn't really have an impact on me in this case. Okay, now that we have our armature cleared out, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to click on the thing that we want to sculpt. In this case, I'm going to do this top. And just so I can show you again how to get that color, we're going to go into our files, ignore my messy files go here we're gonna take the top let's go let's go with purple because I love purple and see it doesn't do it doesn't automatically do it so we're just going to go ahead and connect it and make sure that we are on the right thing which we weren't so we're gonna go ahead and go 
and take this and drop it in. And as you can see, it's purple. So now we're going to go ahead and we're just going to close this a little bit. And we want to go and enter sculpt mode. One of the most important things to do when you are sculpting is to always make sure that you have this X um, checked because what that does is it makes sure that you, anything that you do to one side gets applied to the other. And that just helps with symmetry because we want to keep things smooth and coherent. So I'm using Blender 2.93. I don't know what tool you would be using if you are using a newer form of Blender. In my case, I am using Elastic Deform. And so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to scroll out a bit. We're just going to find a point and we're just going to push inward. Then we're going to go back and find it from a decent way away from the front. Go to the sides and just go ahead and bring that inward. Any, you see this, this is totally normal because what we're going to do is we're just going to go in closer and we're just going to bring that forward until we have no more clipping. Then you see we have this, so let's just sculpt that forward like that until you are satisfied. And now let's say that you are satisfied with this right i think this is pretty good we've removed the chest if you want to make it a little bit more flat than what you could do is you could use something like the smooth tool which is just gonna decimate that a little bit what i recommend is just tapping it and not clicking it or like clicking and dragging it because this is kind of a um intense tool Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we are going to be using robust weight painting. So first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go into cats, which is going to be required. You're going to find the name of your armature for your base model. In this case, it's armature 2, so we're going to select that as our base. Select that, and then we're going to find our hips, and we are going to attach it to that and make sure that you always turn off join meshes because we do not want to merge the meshes because that can cause a lot of issues later down the line. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and merge our armatures and so that's going to go ahead and add these onto one armature for us. Now if we were to go into pose mode right as you can see it's not moving with our body and obviously we want it to do that. So we're going to go into our robust weight paint. We're going to go ahead and select our body as the original. We're then going to select what we want to weight paint. So let's go start with the arm warmers. We're going to hit this little cursor and we are going to transfer weights. Now, once that's done, we're going to go back into our pose mode. And as you can see, it's now moving with our body. And, but if we do it, you can see it's not doing it for that. So we're going to stop pose mode once again. We're going to go back into our robust weight paints. We're just going to go ahead and select our next thing. So the top, transfer weights once again. Select the skirt, transfer weights. And now we're going to start pose mode. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just test the arm movements and make sure that there's no clipping and that nothing got weight painted correctly, incorrectly. As you can see in this case, everything is weight painted correctly and there is no sort of clipping or stretching. In that case, if that does happen, which I have had cases where it does, you are just going to go in weight paint manually. You just want to make sure that you are finding the objects that are sticking out and setting your weight to zero. Other than that, that is how I sculpt and weight paint all of my outfits for bases in Blender 2.93.